this video, I will discuss about an important use case in Power Apps. Most of the times we read tables, right, to Power Apps. Let's say this is contact table. In this contact table, we have many fields like full name, email, company name, and etc. Now, when we read email column, we read that column as column value, right? It's not like a string. It we are reading the table but we will have the columns in each record so if you want to go through a loop if you want to extract all the emails we have to use a loop so that it will traverse or go through line by line record and extract the email right so you require a loop in power apps in power fx or something right if you want to get all the emails but there is an easy way to uh, extract all the emails with semicolon separated so that you can use that complete string um, for sending email to multiple users right so how you can do that let us see so let me create a new canvas app let me give a convert table to string now i can use tablet as format and here I want to read all contacts email ID into a string, right? So let me take a string here. Let me take a label to display, right? And I want to take a button here, right? So this button, I will give a name, for example, get all emails, right? Now my intention is when someone click this button, all emails will be extracted and it will create a string and associate or give the value to this level so what i can do then first i have to associate the table call as contact sorry not case it should be contact and case just remove this it is added by um, by mistakely so once you add the contacts you can add this here in the text property of the level or you can take a variable you can take on click you can take a variable on select set all emails comma now you want to get all emails and create a string so you have to use the formula called as concat concat i want to concat the uh, table right which table i want to contact i want to uh, uh, concatenate contacts then comma the expression i want to append the email address and it will append a semicolon now this will be concatenated so this will extract all emails of the contact and create a string and assign to this variable now close this second bracket and now this is the variable I can give to the text property of this level. Now you can test this. If you click on this, the level will have all the emails with comma separated, you see. Right? So this is one email, then semicolon another email. This way, this is a complete string that will contain all the email addresses of the contact record. Now, where this use case is used, whenever you are sending bulk emails, send email requires uh, two address and uh, uh, CC address or BCC address to be uh, the format to be like multiple email addresses with semicolon separated. So you can create this string, complete string with semicolon and assign this string to your to address or uh, from address. So that will help you. So this use case is helpful for that uh, scenario where you need to extract multiple emails from a table and concatenate with a string. I hope this is small, you know, uh, formula, but it is very useful in our business. So thank you everyone for this short video. Stay tuned. I will prepare some technical videos also. See you guys. Bye.